Gini. These are the crews we're going to see competing from Germany, Great Britain, France and Italy. All consistent contenders in the PR3 Coxed 4. So the German crew over there in lane one, they're actually in lane two as you can see. And uh, that crew, Susan Lackner, Jan Helmick, Mark Lembeck, Katrin Marsh and Cox by Inga Turner. And, uh, we will talk about them as they go down the course. Well, we're going down. Why not? Why not talk about them now? Mark Schon from Bayer Leverkusen, as is Mark Lembeck, Jan Helmick in the two seat from Hansa Dortmund, and the bow woman from the Mannheim Club. This is where the story is. Erin Kennedy, the coxswain, back in charge of this boat after her year's treatment for breast cancer, chemotherapy, low sessions. Um, it's just been a real journey, and uh, that crew with uh, Francesca Allen, Gidra Rasky Kaite, Morgan Rice Moyes coming in for Oliver Stanhope, Edward Fuller, and of course Erin Kennedy. And there's the French crew Erica Sazo, Grégoire Biro, Rémi Taranto, Margot Boulet, and Emile Akistapas in the coxswain seat. And here are the Italians, they've been changing their rig and their configuration through the championships. In the stroke seat, Greta Muti behind her, Carolina Foresti, Tommaso Cittino, Luca Conti in the bows. I'm sure we'll get a shot of Erin Kennedy, but uh, we saw, we've seen her quite a lot out here and chatted with her. She's really bouncy and bubbly, Great, and she's so grateful to Bronze. be back in the European Italy. Championships. Yeah, well, I think racing I think here so. more or less marks a year since her diagnosis, nice. so she's been through a real year. Real journey. And all the crews delighted to be here racing on the water, enjoying these special moments we were able to bring you. We've had the preliminary race, um, so we're expecting to see the form being from Great Britain and France, over Italy and Germany on the outside, as we expect all four of these getting away to a good start. Those Italians getting away well, familiar lineup, been messing around with it a little bit. They did have a tandem in the middle of that Italian boat, Greg, um, yeah. I think uh, in the middle of the week, but uh, they changed it back to a conventional rig. Yes, Greta Muti usually in the stroke seat, she's still there, isn't she, as we take a look now with the Germans. So early doors, it's Great Britain with a half a metre lead in lane two over Germany on the far side of them. There we see the German stroke woman, Katrin Marchand, the 32-year-old from the Bayer Leverkusen club in the west of Germany. And uh, here's the British boats Had to change their all around. Ed Fuller in the stroke seat, the 20-year-old for Molsey and Reading University. He wouldn't, he wouldn't actually uh, be definite as to which club he belonged to, but I think Reading University is the one down on the floor. And then, of course, we've got, Ed, we've got behind him uh, Morgan Rice Noise, who has come into the boat for Ollie Stanhope. And if you're watching Ollie, the Molsey oarsman, we wish you well. Great Britain lead at the 500 metre mark by half a length from Germany. Yeah, looking there, yeah, Morgan Freist noise in that three seat, the new addition to this crew. They've been very dominant for the last few years. But he's moving very well there, backing up Ed Fuller in the stroke seat. The German crew got the silver medal last year, and I think at the moment they'll be pleased to be overlapping the British here in the second 500. And um, be interesting to see whether the British can have the form they've had in previous years and be able to move on the field now, or whether the field is going to hang with them. Yeah, I think it'll take a while for the 19-year-old, uh, for Rice Noyes to bed in. I mean, he did get uh, a Rising Star Award from his club, Bradford on Avon. He's come into the boat, he's got big shoes to fill, that of Oli Stanhope, the Paralympic champion from Tokyo. And, and I guess this four is, is yet to find, you know, the, the pace that they had last year. But as you say, it's an early stage, and I think the British will be reasonably pleased that they have managed to keep moving on that German crew. Also, the French just sticking with them as well. They got the bronze last year with a very similar lineup. 
at the World Championships. Erin Kennedy has that boat going straight down the middle of the lane. You get this lovely shot from behind. You see with these coxed boats, bow loaded, you should see them straight down the middle. You can see on this course particularly, because you can stand behind the start, how difficult it actually is to, to hit a really straight course. Yeah, Erin's going to be absolutely chuffed with the steering and also with the calls. And, you know, I'm chuffed to see the Germans that close to the British really pushing them on. I think that's great for para rowing to see that contest. We haven't seen that much of a contest through the 1,000 Britain lead by about uh, two-thirds of a length from Germany, France in bronze medal position, Italy off the back of the field. Yeah, and you can see the uh, side shot there of the British boat. Uh, you see the little stroke coach giving the, the coxes the information, or cox box that they'll be feeding in. It'll tell all the coxes that they're back there at 34 strokes a minute. So it's long and controlled kind of pace, really, in a coxed four like this. It's interesting, the, the tactics of, you know, where you put your women and where you put your men in the boat. The, the, the Germans, we, we saw a shot there of, of Catherine Marchand in the stroke seat. Of course, Greta Muti stroking the Italian boat. Margot Boulay stroking the French boat. But uh, the two guys, Ed Fuller and Morgan Rice Noise, in the stern of the British boat. Different crew placements there. Yeah, just again, interesting how you get the chemistry right, how you get the dynamics right within the boat. There's no particular formula for success, I guess, as with rowing. You know, there's lots of pictures that a coach might be able to draw on a, you know, on a screen as to what you should be doing, but I think it's about working with what you've got and then figuring out the best dynamics to work for you. That little graphic in the bottom right of the screen did show briefly Germany was the fastest moving boat on the course, which is interesting in the third quarter. Britain just pushed away. Germany maybe answered them. But just in case you're wondering, this class, the PR3 class, is for rowers with a verifiable and permanent disability who have functional use of their legs, trunk and arms for rowing and can use the sliding seat as Britain have that clear water gap with 500 metres to go over Germany, who have a clear water gap, similar gap, back to the French in bronze medal position. Well, this will be a nice position for the British to see as they look back behind them, straight down the lane. Ed Fuller there in the stroke seat can see the clear water behind, but Germany are pressing to try and get back on them, trying to get that little overlap back. Big last 500 needed by the Germans if they're going to turn this over. They've got the stroke rate a little higher now, up to 36, but a big move needed. Yeah, he's really putting it in, isn't he? Mark Lembeck, the 34-year-old from Bayer Leverkusen in the three-seat, really supporting his stroke woman. And the Germans are moving back on the British. And again, can't emphasise enough, that's a great competition. It's not something we've seen that often in the para four. Britain have been so dominant. Maybe USA have come into the picture a little bit, but uh, this shows you that the competition is going to be tight in Paris, Greg. Yeah, the competition will be tight in Paris. The French will be pleased to have that boat in the medal position. But as they're coming down here towards the line now, the British have are the fastest moving again. They've timed their race well. The, other, the field might have come back to them, but they've been able to push away now as we're coming down here. Well into the Red Boys coming in with about 100 metres to go. Now that drone shot tells you all you need to know. And now we get that great side shot. And you can see Erin Kennedy up in the bows a year since her cancer diagnosis double mastectomy, chemotherapy, and now she's back as European champion again. Another gold medal for Britain and Erin Kennedy. Germany take the silver. It will be France who come in in bronze medal position. In contact with the Germans, Italy have yet to finish and they are bringing up the rear about uh, 50 metres to the finish line away. Yeah, and handshakes there in the bows. Erin Kennedy and Frankie Allen. Frankie, who celebrated her 21st birthday just a few days ago out here in Bled. She did, and Erin Kennedy stuck balloons on her door. Yeah, yeah, and they're in the same hotel, I think, as the Germans, who were, um, saw the tape and bunting out last night and uh, sang, serenaded a bit of happy birthday, I think. That's really cool, isn't it? It wasn't quite what they needed when they were tucked up in bed. But I guess it's all good uh, team spirit, good... Uh, respect and enjoyment of being at this regatta out here in Bled, which all the athletes are enjoying the conditions in the water and the racing. So we will see 
some replays of that race. Ed Fuller there in the stroke seats. All boats cleanly off the start. Yeah, lovely overhead shots, those, with the blades trying to get out of the puddles so get away quickly. And the Cox 4 is a bit of a slower boat to get up and moving, obviously, because it's a bit heavier for four athletes with only one oar each. So it takes a bit longer to get out of your puddles and into the clean water. And I'm so very grateful for the support from around the world. I'd like to say thank you. And check your body. That's the message that Erin Kennedy wants to give. So... The birthday girl from a couple of days ago, Frankie Allen. Deidre Rashikaitia in the two seat. Paralympic champion from Tokyo. The new man, Morgan Rice Noyes from Bradford on Avon Rowing Club. Sure, they're watching this back home. Ed Fuller, world champion in this event from last year. And mum and dad are out here. And mum and dad are out here, yeah. She put a lovely story on her Instagram, actually, of the last year of her life. Um, you can see what she's been through and just how special it is for her to be back and, um, and being the lovely person that she is, supporting the team. And that Coxon seat, doing the job she does so well. That was so powerful, that Instagram story. It was, that? yeah. Great Britain. And I think everyone in the crowd knows what this means to her. Yeah, I mean, a fantastic performance on the water as well. Four seconds off world best time in these conditions. Yeah. Pretty good. Shows the standard of competition that we've got as well. 